Well, a very good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to The Daily Show with me, your cruise director, JC. And me, your activity manager, Mark. Well, Mark, um, <laughs> well, uh, I don't know really where to sort of go with this one. I don't know how to sort of put this to you without mm, kind of, you know, I don't want to hurt your feelings I, I, or anything but um, should we have a guess at what you're about to say yeah okay let me guess it's going to be about the shirt it is about the shirt yes it is uh but uh uh i mean is that legal in this in is... in i mean no uh, well not this is not legal in uh, arkansas i researched that on uh you did on the internet not legal there but this is a beautiful shirt it it doesn't have any buttons Mark. it does have buttons Buttons. Is it Velcro? <laughs> <laughs> Is it Velcro? <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, it has buttons, uh -huh. but buttons uh, as a you know one day when uh, when you know you'll find out buttons on a high class quality shirt right. uh, tend to be hidden. Right, hidden. Buttons aren't an attractive feature. Yeah, uh, which is why remote controls are so unpopular. Uh, really? Yeah. Uh, but there are buttons. I'll show you a button right now. Look at that! There is a button, Slim. Can we get a Can we get a zoom in, please, on the button? Oh my gosh, you're! It's true. That is a button right there. There is a button right there. That Just is unbelievable. Uh, located, Why would you hide such a button? Located conveniently in between uh, my pecs. Have uh, you been hiding your buttons all your life? <laughs> 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 Not yet. <laughs> uh, what color would you say that uh, that shirt is? Well, do you remember that film with Dudley Moore? And John Lithgow about the elf who leaves Santa Claus. Yes, Tootsie. Not Tootsie, that was Dustin Hoffman. Oh, that's right. There's a. Dudley Moore plays an elf mm. who kind of go, branches out on his own and he makes these lollipops that make children float. Arthur. Not Arthur, I can't remember what it was called now. But they had those <laughs> lollipops, they called them a certain colour. I think it was like puce. Puke? Puce. 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 That's puce. I'm going for puce or lavender. Mm, la mm, I was thinking more rose. Kind of no, like this a is darker rose. No, this is a purpley shirt. Really? I'm going, yeah, yeah. I'm lavender. I'm going for lavender, fuchsia. Really? Is that purpley? I I wouldn't know, but uh, I mean, it clearly is a. To what the heck are you wearing on <laughs> your feet, man? <laughs> Those are my the, shoes. The, anyway, well, clearly, uh, no, underneath your shoes, in between your skin and your shoes, you. Have you been wearing those around the ship? Not well, not yet, but I'm going what to. What is happening to you today? What? Show everybody what you're wearing. Show everybody what you're wearing right now, Slim. <laughs> Me. Hang on. <laughs> look at those. What? Whoa, look how bright the legs are as well. It's like a pint of milk. What's wrong with the legs? Look at that thing. <laughs> oh my god, oh look, dear. How, look how flabby it is. What happened to your calf? Whoa! <laughs> What happened to your calf muscles? I wouldn't mind, but that's tensed. <laughs> that is full muscle tense. That is full muscle tense. What? What is this? A mustard sock? Mu yeah. Well, it was. A, it used to be a bit brighter. It has kind of has kind of gone through the the wash a few times. But yellow socks, bit of color coordination. Coordinated with what? Your well, your lavender? Well, no, with the other sock. <laughs> <gasps> oh dear! And that's coordinated with a lavender shirt. You wouldn't think that's clashing in any way, shape, or form. But you're not. Look, no one's looking at the socks. Well, they are now, aren't they? There's two thousand two hundred people now looking at your socks and lavender shirt, laughing probably in their beds heartily at the fact that you clearly have no dress sense whatsoever. Listen, unfortunately, my lavender socks and yellow shirt are in the wash, <laughs> so I can't wear them both at the same time. Oh gosh, it's gonna be one of those days. I can feel it. Can you put your, oh, you yeah. put your trouser leg <laughs> down? Thank you. That I knee thought is it was a, thought it was a draft. Weirding me out a little bit. I know that for a fact. All right, folks. <clears throat> what a very good day to each and every one of you. I'd like to start off by apologizing for Mark's dress sense today. Uh, I'm sure he's gonna pick up his game as the cruise goes on. But uh, uh, right now, we want to tell you that we have an incredible sea day planned for you today. We hope you had a great day yesterday, first of all, in Berlin, G uh, Germany, Warnemunde. Oh, beautiful. What a, and what, the weather was nice. Oh my gosh, wasn't it? Just what a beautiful seaside town. I know beautiful. many of you went into to Berlin and enjoyed that. And those of you that just went wandering around Warnemunde. Oh, and what a, what a great way to spend our first port there all day. Yeah, about that. I, um, I was walking across the deck. Uh, on 11, and uh, I happened to look over the side of the ship, just having a little look around, and I could have... Which side, the water side or the land side? The land, the land side, side, the Varnamunda side. 
Um, and uh, mm, I happened to, uh, I thought I could have, I definitely saw you. I knew it was you because you would, somebody was dressed awfully. And, uh, and I could have sworn walking next to you was a young lady. Would, would, would that have been a factual statement, Mark? Not entirely. She's not as young as she used to be. <laughs> But so she is a lady. But she's younger than many. So the rumours aren't true. There <laughs> we go. <laughs> <laughs> wow, there we go. Oh. All right, so that's wonderful. So uh, maybe you could, uh, we could probe, well, poor choice of words. Maybe we could uh, find out a little uh, more about uh, that as the cruise goes on. I mean, is it a blossoming lavender relationship? Did she buy this for you? Uh, no, she didn't buy this for me. She did, uh, she did buy me lunch, though. Really? And, uh, and, uh, and a chocolate milkshake from McDonald's. I've, I think it must be love. <laughs> you went to McDonald's on a date. You took her to McDonald's no, 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 on a date. No, no, we went to a, we went to a lovely restaurant. I had a glorious uh, you know, sort of four-course meal, which she paid for. Yeah, yeah, I know which side my bread's buttered on. Now, and as we were walking back, I had a little tantrum because I felt like my sugar levels were dropping a little bit. So I asked her to buy me a chocolate milkshake. <laughs> Were you having the, the were the old allergies kicking in? No, I just out there for you. It was quite warm, you know. I'm not. I'm quite a pale chap, and I burn mm. quite easily. But I did that thing where I went, "Oh, I want a chocolate milkshake." No, well, you've just had lunch. I want a chocolate milkshake, but you've just had lunch. I am not moving until I get a chocolate milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, you threw your toys out the pram and you got what you wanted. I had a proper tantrum. Good for you, pal. Good for you. All right, we're going to run through some of our celebrity life activity highlights for you now around this beautiful ship, the Celebrity Constellation, here on Sea Day number two. Today is Tuesday, August 27th, 2013, just in case you forgot. Mark, the activities manager, what have you got for us today? Hey, well, uh, today is going to be one of the busiest days of the cruise. It is. Not, it really just, is. not just so far, because that would be kind of easy, uh, but all cruise long, it is a busy, busy sea day, packed full with celebrity life activities. Uh, all those of you that are quite art and craftsy. <laughs> uh, we have a watercolour class with our watercolour artist, uh, Jane, and that's going to be upstairs in the Reflections Lounge at 9am. Uh, the other day she was doing landscapes of Amsterdam. Yes. Uh, today we're doing landscapes of Helsinki. Oh, very uh, nice too. Obviously we've got that great port coming up. Are we going there? Uh, we are. Well, that's lucky. In just it? a couple of days' time. Uh, so you can uh, start working on your watercolour masterpieces uh, with that. Uh, we've got the second round of the Mauricio Cup Golf Putting Challenge. Uh, you can join him uh, up in the Reflections at 10.15. You golfer? Mm, no. Really? No, I don't. I have played a bit of golf, but I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm much of a golfer. Gopher? Golfer. No, I said, are you... <laughs> No, sorry, you misunderstood what I said. I said, are you a, 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 are you a golfer, you yeah. know, as in the sport of golf? <clears throat> okay, no, I'm not a golfer. No, I know you're not a gopher. I said, are you a golfer? Golfer? Yeah, you're, you're saying gopher. As no, in, I'm saying... I'm saying golfer, the sport. I'm, yeah, I'm not a golfer, one who plays you, you the sport. You said it again, no, man, golfer. what's wrong with you? Golfer. You're saying gopher. Golfer. Just carry on. You just carry on. You were the one that stopped me. Everybody out there this morning is understanding what I'm saying. Is he saying gopher or is he saying golfer? Golfer. Go are you are you winding me up? Thank <laughs> chronic golfer. Uh, we've got uh, Zumba classes for you as well. You can join your Zumba instructor LV on the pool deck, 10.15 and 4.15, weather permitting uh, for the uh, fun that is uh, Zumba. Uh, we've also got a water volleyball challenge oh. for you. Now, in a couple of days' time, uh, we are going to give you the opportunity uh, to take on some of our ship's officers uh, in a game of water volleyball. But as a warm-up today, uh, you get to take on the stars of the Constellation. Some oh, of our nice. singers and dancers uh, will be taken to the pool and taking you on in a best-of-three series. Uh, so come up and join us for that at 1 o'clock poolside. Uh, the production cast dancers are back at 3 o'clock. Uh, with a uh, ballroom dance class as well. That's going to be in the Reflections Lounge. Today you can learn the Foxtrot. Do, 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 golfer. Do, 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 golfer. Do, do, do. Is that the Foxtrot maneuver? I don't know. Are you sure that is that a Foxtrot? Is that really a Foxtrot? I'm sure you could Foxtrot to that. No, but that's not a Foxtrot, is it? What's a Foxtrot, Slim? 
He's got no idea. It's a dance no. routine. No. But what I was doing was singing music. And I wondered if you knew what a foxtrot step was. You know, for example, the waltz. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. That's a waltz. Yeah. What's the maneuver of a foxtrot? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's like You're just going up and down. It's counting. Like, it's like Sesame Street. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We can't do that. We can't do that. Licensing. Oh, really? Yeah, we're not allowed to say things like one, uh, uh, two, uh, 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 three. Uh, 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 uh. We'll have Big Bird knocking on that door before we know it. <laughs> Give us my money. Anyway, I was out with her yesterday. Thank God we're at sea. Oh. Um, <laughs> Uh, we've also else? got another session of Snowball Jackpot Bingo. We could be giving away $5,000 in 47 numbers or less. Uh, cards go on sale at 2.15. The eyes go down at 3 p.m. Uh, that is in the Celebrity Theatre. That is just a, s a small section of what I've picked. I know uh, you've got some stuff as well because still <laughs> so much going on and the bigger stuff gets uh, mentioned by the biggest star. Yeah, thank you for that. Very kind, Mark. Today at 10.15 a.m. on the Celebrity Theatre stage, we have the Oceans Ahead presentation. Now, this is a brilliant talk uh, featuring uh, one of our ship's officers. Uh, in fact, this gentleman is going to be telling you all about how ships move, a behind-the-scenes look at how the Celebrity Constellation engine systems work. Of course, our chief engineer here on board is going to be telling us a little bit about that at, at 10.15. Then at 11... We have the Flash Mob Dance Rehearsal Round 2 2.0. Yes, we do. It's a Flash Mob Rehearsal, the sequel, uh, taking place in the Reflections Lounge today uh, at 11 a.m. You can join uh, Ashley from your Celebrity Life activity staff and some of your production cast dancers as well uh, as we continue to teach you the moves that will be going into that secret surprise rehearsal. It's not that secret, actually. We've mentioned it a couple of times. Yeah. Uh, but that will be going into that surprise rehearsal uh, towards the end of the cruise. Well, it'll be a dance probably by the end of the cruise, not a rehearsal. Hoping. Did I say rehearsal? You did, yeah. Okay, well, I've, I, I saw the first rehearsal. It could still be that. Don't <laughs> worry. Uh, also, at 11.30, uh, a great event. This is so much fun. Uh, we're going to invite you up onto the pool deck for Ooh. the Canadian Hockey uh, Challenge. You know how many Canucks are on board this We cruise. have got, well, there are hundreds I know. of you. Hundreds of Canadians on board. I didn't realise they let that many out at once, I'll be honest with you. No. You know, well, I thought it was against you know like some sort of uh, customs laws, but clearly not. It's a great, great news. Uh, it's uh, good news that we've got so many here because uh, my uh, my brother is in Canada at the moment. He is really. He what does is, he do? Uh, he's a thief. Oh, uh, really? so he's a burglar. So oh, he'll be burglar. having a whale of a time. He's going to be having a great time considering he'll be, they're all on board. He'll be loving it. I mean, it's, yeah, it's quite a big place, isn't it? Don't worry. Come and see me into the cruise. I'll sell you all your stuff back. Um, so uh, we're going to put our guest relations manager Touche uh, in between the uh, the the sticks. Uh, and you get to shoot the cookie at him. What? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't really know. I don't shoot really know. the cookie. Shoot the. Is it a bis it's cookie, a biscuit? Isn't a biscuit. It? Uh, you get to shoot the. Let me just read what it says. Uh, we're going to drop the biscuit. Oof. Uh, <laughs> while you try to score against our guest relations manager Touche, as he stands in the crease uh, for a fun hockey shootout. Will you go for the top shelf or right. for the five hole? I, I mean, say. It I, sounds a little painful. I'm not going to lie. I mean, oh, who's going to be in goal? Touche. So what's a biscuit in a five hole? I don't know. I I say go for the face. <laughs> just, um, <laughs> and just joking. Just joking. And uh, yeah, no, no. Although in saying that, a couple of cruises ago, I got him slap bang right in the, <clears throat> in the, <whistles> you know, right in the what? in the biscuit downstairs area. I got him right in the Ooh. danglies. I mean, yeah, we had to stop. I bless his heart. He was uh, he was not very. Not very good. But so you're gonna you're gonna get mm. uh, t <laughs> yeah. you're gonna get t two shots each. Two, two shots. One is all it takes, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. One is all it takes. Uh, but you are gonna get two shots uh, to score against our guest relations manager. Everybody who scores uh, wins themselves uh, win themselves a medal. Uh, it, there's no sign ups. You're just gonna pitch up and take part. We're just gonna grab you out of the crowd. Uh, this thing can go for ages because people just come along, they see it, they want to yeah, take part. Kids, do. adults, men, women. You don't, have, you don't have to be. You don't have to be from Canada, uh, Canada. You don't, <laughs> because I'm thinking of Canadian hockey. Uh, you don't have to be from Canada. Uh, you can just turn up, have a shot. Whoever your hockey team might be, whether it's the 
uh, the, the maple leafs or the bears or the tigers or the lions oh my uh, you can uh, join us for the Canadian Hockey Challenge on deck this afternoon 11.15am uh, this morning in the Celebrity Theatre uh, presented by Dr. Carolyn Harris Peter the Great will be uh, being spoken about today of course uh, the founding of the founder of St. Petersburg yes very much uh, so uh, probably the highlight of the cruise no doubt I would have thought coming up in a few days time for many many of our guests uh, so come and join us today for that to find out a little bit of history and then at 10.45 tonight i've got to tell you about this uh because inside the reflections lounge uh we got a great theme party planned for all of our guests haven't we after the shows which i'm going to tell you about in in, in, a, in a moment but skipping ahead to later on this evening uh it's the totally 80s themed party interactive Ooh. theme party uh, uh, <clears throat> i'm sorry I'm just. I'm I know. Just, I forgot that. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just mm -hmm. here to. Picking. I'm just here to. Up. You know, to, to wallpaper over your mistakes. On me. Uh, yeah, we got this uh, totally interactive theme party. 80s. Uh, it's 80s. Yeah, the interactive sorry, I didn't theme want to party. Pick up on your <laughs> errors. <laughs> the interactive theme party. Totally 80s. Uh, you can join your production cast dancers uh, as they uh, take you on a musical trip to the decade of uh, musical excess um, for some uh, for some great music, some great tunes from the 80s. Uh, I'm going to be warming you up into that because at 10.15 I'm going to be doing an 80s music trivia. Uh, so if you think you know your 80s music uh, trivia, uh, then come and see me. Uh, and of course, prizes to be won for that. And as soon as we finish, literally, you will have all but 15, 20 seconds between the end of the quiz and the start of our interactive theme party. So come up uh, and join our production. It's going to be great. It sounds the awesome. Stuff. It's going to be, it's one of my favourite nights. I love the 80s. <laughs> yeah, I so, do. Who was your favourite singer in the 80s? Um, Britney Spears. Great. Well, she's my favourite singer now. She was my favourite, you know. She wasn't around in the 80s. How could she have been your favourite singer in the 80s if she wasn't around in the 80s as a singer? She was like five. Oh, no, I knew. I knew. Really? Yeah, I knew. I always, I always said that girl had talent. Really? Uh, yeah. Did you used to watch a lot of the Disney Channel when you were almost oh. an adolescent? M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E, Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse. Da -da 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 hey, We're going to hey. be paying so many fines this week if you keep on mentioning uh, brands that we can't endorse. What? Okay. I've got. <laughs> that's bad news for all the information I've got coming up later on. Then I mean, it is. Yeah. Uh, Slim, would you just uh, mind just grabbing this Samsung te t television <laughs> remote control for me? Thanks, pal. Appreciate that. Yeah. Okay, uh, right now uh, I think it's uh, time to introduce, introduce our special guest. I know we've got to talk about the shows, but I w just want to make sure that this man gets yeah, on absolutely. now because uh, he's just arrived here in the set, ladies and gentlemen, here in the studio, and we want to introduce you right now to our future cruise expert here on board uh, in charge of the knowledge that you are going to need to know when it comes to booking your next cruise here on board the Constellation. Uh, so how about you in your staterooms in bed, give a nice big round of applause uh, to your future cruise manager here on board, the lovely Jose. Come on in, Jose. Have a seat here on the green sofa, here on the green room. Good morning, how are you? I'm fine, thank you for having me here. You're welcome, welcome to The Daily Show. Uh, well, how, what do you think of our beautiful studio? Fantastic. It's much bigger than you probably originally thought it was, isn't it? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now, first of all, tell us a little bit about you, sir. Uh, how long have you been with Celebrity Cruises? Um, I've been here in uh, this wonderful company for 12 years. 12 years now, wow. I bet you've seen a lot of changes, a lot of growth, and seeing you know, all the different ships being built over the years. Absolutely, yeah. Magnificent, absolutely great. Now, where are you from originally? I'm from Caracas, and uh, my hometown is Natal, Brazil. Ah, in Brazil, very nice too. Home of the Samba Boys. Is it really? Isn't that what they call the Brazilian football team? That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah Samba Boys. He's a big football fan, you know, Mark. Very, very big football fan. Uh, all right, now tell us a little bit about uh, where are your favourite locations to go in the world. Now I'm talking about <laughs> not just, you know, <clears throat> to go on holiday when you're on vacation, Jose. I'm talking about where is the best places to cruise in the world at the moment. Well, it's a little bit difficult question because uh, I love to travel and uh, I've been traveling a lot. But I will say Galapagos is one of the best destinations that we have right now. Yeah, we have a talk about that today, right? The Galapagos Islands. Where the heck is the Galapagos Islands? Is it somewhere out there in the middle of nowhere? That's a good question, too. Uh, Galapagos Island is a set of uh, 18 uh, islands and uh, 600 miles from the Ecuador, from the Quito, the capital of Ecuador. Uh, How many islands? 89? Uh, uh, are 18. Oh, 18 islands, all to, but they're all clumped together. It's an archipelago. Ah, oh, it's an archipelago, right. And what are they famous for? 
Sorry? What are they famous for? Are they famous for their wildlife, for the culture, what, you know? The, the reason why Galapagos is getting so popular uh, right now is because um, if you have the opportunity, or if you are the lucky one to go to Galapagos, you will see a species that you will never, ever see again. Those are endemic species, and this is the, uh, the highlight of those islands. Besides that, uh, we have a wonderful ship in operation right there. We do? Yeah, we have an uh, expedition, which is a very small ship, very personalized service, and, uh, but absolutely amazing, amazing ship. And uh, when is it going to be going there? 2013 or later on in 2014? Uh, actually, we're going to, uh, in 2014, 15, and I think we're going to be in operation for a long time in that area. Right. I really hope so. Uh, we're going to Galapagos every week. So, and it's uh, the, the beauty. Where's it sailing from? Um, you ha actually, you have to fly to Quito, and from Quito, we're going to fly you to uh, Galapagos Islands. Wow. It's like a one hour, uh, f 40 minutes flight. And, um, but the beauty of Galapagos Island is not only the, the destination and the ship, which is fantastic, but is that everything is inclusive. It's all inclusive? All inclusive. So, um, and I, I, I will take this opportunity to invite every, every, uh, every one of you to come to see Galapagos. This is a wonderful presentation, uh, very informative, and uh, I will do my best not to let you down. So, so, this, so the presentation is going to be today at 10 a.m. in the Gamma Room. Now, Mark, just explain to the guests where the Gamma Room is, because it sounds something out like I have a Marvel comic or something like that. Yeah, it's, uh, it, can be, it can be slightly tricky to find your way to the gamma room. Probably the easiest thing for you to do uh, is to go on deck four all the way aft, just outside the San Marco restaurant, mm. and then take those uh, aft stairs down to deck number three. As you come down the stairs, the gamma room is just located on the right-hand side. Yep, that's the easiest way. That's the easiest way to find it. it. You, can, you can get there on deck three as well. Through the atrium. Through the atrium mm. and then through... Grand foyer, sorry. Through the grand foyer and then sort of around the side and around the back. It's a little bit trickier. Uh, but the easiest way, deck four go to the uh, aft uh, guest uh, elevators or staircases and then take those down to three. And it's right there, you'll see it. It's uh, one of the conference rooms we have here on board. All right, so what are the, some of the benefits of uh, booking here on board compared to booking back home with your travel agent? Yeah, there are some benefits that I, I will advise uh, every uh, single guest to take advantage. Uh, we have up to $500 on board credit. Wow which is, uh, will depend, of course, on the length of the cruise and the type of accommodation. Now, can, can I spend that onboard credit just on certain things, or can I spend it on anything? Anything, anything you want. Uh, you can do it. You, you, normally, people uh, spend that money in, especially the restaurant, and short excursions, uh, whatever. As you will have $500 in your onboard account just to spend it. And um, another benefit is that the reduced deposit. Right. For instance, for Americans and Canadians, it's only $100 down. 100 bucks? 100 bucks. Uh, which is refundable 75 days before your sailing date. So that means if you book 2015, you have 75 days uh, previous to your sailing that you can cancel that reservation and right, you get your money right. back. Okay. So it's actually it's a, it's a, it's a win to win situation. Right. Uh, not only that you're going to receive the, 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 the OMBAR credit, but you're going to lock in the price. This is important. The tendency of those prices is to go up. Of course. And of course, if a celebrity decides to drop those prices, you are entitled to receive the, to adjust that price. So. Right, so even if the price drops, you get the, the difference back as well. Um, but you get the onboard credit as well. You can spend that on board and up to 75 days in advance. So say, for example, I'm sailing in December. 75 days before that time, I can go up and cancel and I get 100% of, uh, of that back. Is that right? That's correct. I mean, how could you How could you possibly argue? You want to go to the Galapagos? Yeah, let's go. Can, can you get us a, a, um, a, a double stateroom? Um, uh, what sort of stateroom can you get me and Mark? I do, not, a, not one bed. Okay, just. no problem. They just come to see me. We are located in, in Deck 5 next to the gallery we have a fantastic team there waiting for you and just come to see me guys it and i will promise to give you a great deal it, it doesn't matter if it is one bed that's fine no no well i'd rather i'd rather well, maybe uh, before you come to see me just yeah. please make up your mind okay. and I've, I've made up my mind. Okay, well, I'm still sort of deciding. Okay. Um, <coughs> Jose, thank you so much. It's a pleasure yeah, to meet you. Thank, thank you, you thank for you. coming here on The Daily Show thank today. You, Jose. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, your future cruise guru here on board, the lovely Jose. Thank you very much indeed, sir. Thanks for coming. And, uh, and uh, mind you, that's it. Lovely stuff. Off he goes on his toes. All right, there. A lovely chap.
Yeah, Lovely we should chat. go Galapagos. Thanks very much. We should. We should do it. Sounds great. Isn't it famous for turtles? They have turtles Galapagos. there. Um, teenage Mutant Ninja No, not those. Oh, we are reminiscing about all of our favourite TV shows this cruise, aren't we? Button Moon, follow Mr. Spoon. Button Moon, be back soon. Yeah, that wasn't one of my favourites. Oh. So. Not many people will know Button Moon. No, either. no, very. That was very specialist. It's very British. Very, very <laughs> much. So. All the Brits will be loving it right now. All seven of them. All right. So tonight's shows, ladies and gentlemen, 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. Uh, we have one of the stars of London's West End joining us today here on board the Celebrity Constellation. Uh, her name is Lindsay Hamilton, and she has played many of the most coveted roles in musical theatre history, uh, including the roles of Eva Peron in Evita, uh, and uh, is it Fantane? 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 How do I pronounce it? From Les Miserables. Well, you know, I'm not sure I'm the best person to ask about pronunciation. Yeah, her astonishing voice and personality makes her one-woman show a night to remember. You have to hear this lady's voice. Boy, oh boy, she is something very special. Now, we really wanted to introduce her on the Daily Show today, but uh, she's that big deal. She's yeah. flying onto the ship, doing her show, and then... Whoosh, Hot foot and it's straight off again. Absolutely. She's not hanging around. No, she's uh, she's literally on and off. She's got so many other commitments. And we're so lucky to be able to have her mm. uh, on board with us uh, for the time that she's here. Uh, so make sure you do not miss her. Yes, please do. 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. in the Celebrity Theatre. All right, Mark. All right, it's gonna JC. Be, it's going to be a busy sea day. I mean, that's hardly... I mean, that's... What's that? We've spoken about 10, 15 minutes for... I don't know, 20 things we mentioned out of, I don't know, 100... Well, I know. And we, uh, yeah, there's, and there's so much in that program. But make sure uh, before you leave your staterooms uh, today, get that program. Get a pen or a highlighter or maybe a, your lipstick or whatever it is you've got. Uh, and just highlight the things that you want to do today. Because if you miss something, you're going to probably end up kicking yourself. Uh, you know what we haven't... Let's mention this. We haven't even mentioned this yet. Or what? I don't know, what? I don't know if you did or what? not. What? That. Oh, good! Gosh, how could we grief. forget that? We normally we normally oh, just did ourselves out of dinner Jason, for the rest of the cruise. Could you imagine Jason, the executive chef, wouldn't speak to us for a lifetime? Oh, well, in which case, let's moment. not mention it. Let's probably not. No, let's leave it there. No. We should probably do it for Carl, though. Let's do it. Let's do we'll it. Do for it for Carl. Carl, the food and beverage manager, but not for Jason, the executive chef. <laughs> uh, all right, right now, 10:30 a.m. this morning in the San Marco restaurant, we have the heartbeat of the operation. It's the galley tour here on board, where you folks can uh, pretty much just go along into the restaurant and then be escorted down inside the football field-sized kitchen here on board it's called a galley on a ship but it's basically a kitchen uh and you're going to meet the chefs cooks basically and uh they are going to be telling you all about what happens down there and how the operation works right that's right uh you can meet in the san marco restaurant this is always one of the biggest celebrity uh, life activities of the cruise uh we'll be introducing you to your food and beverage manager carl who in turn uh, we'll be introducing you uh, to his team of uh, you know managers and cooks and chefs and, and scarves and all the different all the different scarves. He'll be explaining all that to you, uh, but it really is fantastic, and you're going to get a chance to go round uh, the sort of you know, like, quite literally what is like the the, the heartbeat. It is of the <laughs> of the operation. <laughs> That's what it sounds like when you walk in the door. You can hear it. You can feel it. You know, without that food being cooked. <laughs> That's what would happen to all of us. <laughs> Think of it that way. Mm. Bit morbid, I know. <laughs> but uh, move on. Probably best. Go. Just go. Wow. Just go. Just go. Uh, let's have a look at some other stuff. What do you want to have a look at? Shall I give you some uh, famous birthdays? Anything. Anything. Uh, well, today is uh, August uh, the 27th. It is the 239th day of the year. Uh, there's 126 days until 2014. It's ticking away. It is going down fast. Uh, famous can't, birthday. Can't, can't say that on a ship, Mark. I've told you that before. What? You can't say that. You what? can't say going down fast on a ship. I've t we've had this discussion. I know. I meant the count is going down fast. I know, fast. but you, you can't say that on a ship. You just, it's just not right. You can't. It's too late now. Can we, get, we, can we cut that bit out, Slim? We can't. We can't. It's too late. Okay. So you had this problem when I went to wash my hands in the sink. Can you had a gummy about that? I. 
You can't say sync either, Mark. All right, we're, we're, like, there's a list. You've seen the list. That's fine, but that means that on that means that on board a ship, you're not even allowed to count to five in French. Five. One, two, three, four, sync, sync. Ma Look. Can you just read the celebrity birthdays out and stop saying things that are making people feel? You know, it's just not. It's it's just. <laughs> I just I feel like we've hit rock bottom here. Uh, birthdays today, we say happy twenty eighth birthday to Eve Torres. Uh, she is a WWE diva. So many Ws. A WWE diva, model, and actress who is currently the WWE Divas Champion. So she's a wrestler. She's a wrestler. We could have just said that, couldn't you? Okay. No one watches WWWWE. Do they? Well, I don't, but... I think millions and millions of people do, but uh, not me and not, you. Not me and you. Nah. Um, How old? 28. Oh, said wow. that. Yeah. Uh, we also say a happy 40th birthday to Denise Lewis, a haptathlon oh, athlete. Oh, Denise. Yeah, won Olympic gold medal at the 2000 Sydney Olympics. Brilliant. I remember that well, actually. You remember, remember that race very... Very well, running we, around yeah. the track. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, she that was only, she's a heptathlete, so that would have been one event. Yeah, hep, heptap. That's all she does, 10 laps. Hep, is it hep is 10? Yeah, but she, 10 events, not 10 mm. laps. Mm. Yeah, I think I definitely remember that last lap, though, pretty sure. Okay. At the, at the 2000 Sydney Olympics? Yep. Yep. Okay. Was that the one that had that good theme song? Remember, that, like, Freddie Mercury and the other... Lady Barcelona. Oh Such yes, the, 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 the opera singer. That was it. Yeah, yeah with uh, Freddie Mercury. Yeah. yeah. Barcelona. Which, Oli one. which Olympics was that? Sydney, two thousand, right? Okay, yeah, I thought so. Uh, we also say happy birthday, sixtieth. Happy birthday, or happy 60th birthday, uh, to Paul Herman Rubens, uh, better known to us all, I'm sure, as Pee Wee Herman. Really? Pee Wee Herman. Do, do we, in England, I mean, was Pee Wee Herman a big? A big thing? I mean, or was it bigger in the States? I think it was bigger in the States. It's certainly been in the UK. I've yeah. I mean, I remember watching it. Uh, but he uh, he was a, uh, he's had his difficulties recently. Really? Yes. Ooh. Maybe we shouldn't. Let's just skate. Let's just okay. Let's just let's just gloss over <coughs> okay. uh, that. Um, I've got some fascinating facts for you today. Okay, tell brilliant me. fascinating <coughs> facts. Um, I bet you didn't know this, but I did. Uh, I'm going to take you way way back now to the Victorian days. These facts are gifted for you today, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, you're going to take these facts around the ship throughout the course of the day, and you're going to be conversing about these with your fellow guests as you try and work out whether they're fact or whether they're fiction. Conversing. Mm. They make shoes, don't they? People in Victorian Britain who couldn't afford chimney sweeps dropped what down their chimneys instead? Mark. People in Victorian Britain who couldn't afford chimney sweeps uh, used to drop what down their chimneys to clean them instead of chimney sweeps? A soggy sheep. A soggy sheep. Yeah. Uh, you moisten a sheep and then you drop it down your chimney and it all comes down. That's how you end up with the black sheep of the family. <laughs> I saw one that's gone down the that's chimney. That's good. I like that. Yeah. That's, that's nice. just top of my head. That wasn't in the uh, script or anything. It is not right. Oh. But actually, quite close. Really? Quite close. It is an animal oh. and it is white. I really hope it's a cat then. I don't like cats. No, bigger than a cat. Um, it would do something as it would go down, clearly. Polar bear. <laughs> it's bigger than a cat and it's white. Uh, no, can't argue with the logic. No, no, you're right. Well, logic is the, not the word I would choose. Pony. Shetland pony. Not a Shetland pony. Uh, it's something that flies. Uh, something that's white and flies. Swan. Cl mm, the swans fly? Not quite as nice as a swan. The queen must have been livid. <laughs> it's not a swan. Oh, it's not a swan. Uh, it is actually a goose. A goose. They used to drop a goose uh, down their chimney uh, to, so that it would flap its wings and, of course, freak out when it was dropping yeah. down the chimney. And on the way down, it would clean the soot. And, of course, it wouldn't die yeah. because it would be flapping all the way down. I mean, it'd probably have a few bumps and you know bumps and bruises, scrapes and nicks. But, uh, you know, by the t fine. Pick it back up, take it back down, drop it back down again. No comes problem. out comes out a little bit grubby. A little bit grubby. Grey goose. A grey... 
Maybe that's where they got it. Maybe from, that's man. where it came from. You know, <laughs> everything has to start somewhere. It does. Give us, a, give me another one. All, All right, that's a good one, right? <clears throat> okay, here we go. Um, uh, oh yeah, you'll like this one. <clears throat> gerbils. Oh, I do like a gerbil. Can smell adrenaline, and are installed in airport security areas to detect terrorists. That's that's got to be nonsense, isn't it? That can't be right. Gerbils. You tell me. Gerbils, they're installed inside security terminals to detect terrorists because they can smell adrenaline. Is that fact or is that fiction? I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say it's got to be fiction. Why would it be fiction? Why wouldn't it be fact? I mean, think about it. Gerbils are small, little, fluffy creature. You could put one of those inside one of the scanners. Not a problem. You could then teach it to, for example, squeak if it. You know, one squeak for yes, two squeaks for no. Not difficult, is it? It's an okay. animal. You can teach it. Well, and they're they're too small to effectively clean your chimney. So <laughs> yeah, you'd have to have a lot of them. You'd have, yeah, and yeah. To just strap them all together with sellotape. Um, so, fact or fiction? Uh, fiction. I've already said fiction. Absolute fact. Fic no. It's a fact, ladies and gentlemen. Not nowadays, but originally gerbils were actually installed in airport security si si systems, uh, security areas to actually... And you can, you, if you don't believe me, then fine. See if I care. Let me... Oh. Uh, let me give you a, a couple more things. Uh, National Days. Today is Global Forgiveness Day. So we'd like to apologise for this entire show so far. <laughs> Please do let us off. Um, but today is uh, Global Forgiveness Day. I've got some crazy warnings for you. We've all seen, uh, we've all seen these kind of signs uh, that you get on various items, you know, like uh, when you buy a packet of peanuts and it says, warning, may contain nuts. Well, mm. obviously. Uh, I've got a couple here for you, uh, and then I'll, I'll give you the, uh, the crazy laws for today. Uh, but this warning was found on a packet or on a, uh, on a case of Christmas lights uh, designed to hang across the front of the uh, porch... Or the porch. front of the house, oh, right. across the across the right. Uh, so Christmas lights that go front across the front of the house. Yep. On a box. Yeah. The warning sign says for indoor use only. Right. Sold as outdoor lights. Brilliant. Uh, the, we found some earplugs uh, with the uh, earplugs, the things that you pop in your ears to plug them. Yeah. Uh, the warning reads: these earplugs are non-toxic. That's good. But may interfere with breathing if caught in the windpipe. <laughs> So maybe if you uh, sneeze, suck one in. Could you do that? Somebody's yes. It's all connected. You're in that area. That would be a great party piece. Pop your earplugs in. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, uh, somebody was saying a rain gauge. A what? A rain gauge. A, it, it's a gauge that measures rain. Oh, clever. Uh, the warning reads, uh, suitable for outdoor use. Brilliant. Isn't well, you would good? hope so, right? Isn't that handy. Um, and two more. These both come. Can I mention a brand name? Oh, uh, go Can on. I mention then. a supermarket? Well, it's, it's too late anyway. And plus, it's National F Forgiveness Day. That's true. That's true. So we're uh, safe. So let me just say, in the UK, Tesco's, please forgive us. Uh, these are both warnings, both very similar, uh, that were found on Tesco's own brand products. Uh, one was on a carton of orange juice. Uh, one was on a, an own brand tiramisu dessert. Tiramisu. Uh, tiramisu. Uh, on the orange juice, on the bottom, so the underneath of the carton, uh, the warning reads, keep upright. <laughs> but how are you going to know unless you... How you are you ever going to know the signs there? down to read it. Uh, and on the tiramisu, uh, again, printed on the bottom of the box, do not turn upside down. The, I mean, but that... I, it's gonna, it's gonna I, on the I, floor. I, I, Where do you find this nonsense? I have so much time on my hands. I can imagine. I really can. Join your crazy laws. Uh, yeah, I, well, I You know, we got a lot of people. We were stood on the gangway in uh, Varn Varn in, Mun um, in Germany. Varn in Germany, and uh, I did notice a lot of people are going on about this Arkansas thing. Yeah. And I just, I mean, because they don't stop and talk about it. No, they, they just kind of shout, you know, this Arkansas, whatever it was. Arkansas, yeah. That's it. And um, I, don't, I, I don't know. Personally, for me, I don't get it. I don't, I, I'm you know. not sure. I mean, you know, well, I mean I, we, we, didn't, we didn't give it that name. No, it's you not know, our name to give. Just trying to pass on information to you.
you know. What are you gonna do? Being, you know, do you yeah. have Do you have any laws about uh, Arkansas today? Well, uh, not about not about Arkansas. I've got a few though. Uh, in Danville, Pennsylvania. Oh yes. Okay, which is where they make um, Hershey's chocolate. Oh, is it? Cadbury's. Uh, yeah, Cadbury's all the way. Oh, yeah, all the way. Mm. Uh, in Danville, Pennsylvania, all fire hydrants. Fire hydrants. All fire hydrants. A chocolate. No. Uh, all fire hydrants must be checked one hour mm. before all fires. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Isn't it? How would you ever know? Uh, uh, doo -doo. 911. Hello. Uh, yes, uh, this is Bob from apartment four. Listen, um, I'm expecting a house fire in yeah. about an hour, and I was wondering if you could just go downstairs and check the hydrant for... You, you can? Love. Yes. Fifth floor. Thanks. Bye. I Click. Mean, you'd, either ha you'd either have to be kind of some sort of, you know... Psychic. Psychic or a really conscientious arsonist. Very much. You know. Yeah, a nice arsonist. Yeah. You know, somebody that really cares. So, also in Pennsylvania, uh, it is against the law to tie a dollar bill on a piece of string on the ground and pull it away when someone tries to pick it up. <laughs> That's not illegal. That's funny. That, that, but it's, it's against the law. That is, I mean, the UK was pretty much built on that kind of stuff. You know, yeah. If, we, if that was illegal in the UK, we, our country would, would be nowhere. I, uh, I, I still know a pub in Newquay in Cornwall uh, that uh, when you walk in the door, there's a pound coin... Glued, glued to the yeah, yeah. floor, uh, right there, and it's a w old pub, old man's pub. Lovely it is though, right? And it is an old, shiny gold pound coin right there. And if somebody goes to pick up the gold pound coin, they ring the bell in the bar, and that guy has to buy everybody a drink really? at the bar. And uh, they do it all the time. And it's there, it's, it's on the wall, and it says, "If you attempt to pick up the pound coin on the floor, you uh, oh hear ye, oh hear ye, <laughs> you must buy everybody." at the bar a drink and it happens all the time very funny oh great but so illegal in pennsylvania to do that uh, in florida uh, an elephant tied to a parking meter yes an elephant tied to a parking meter see that a lot must pay the regular parking fee <laughs> how where, much is a regular parking i don't fee know in, but where on, flow rider i don't know but where on earth does a where on earth does a, an elephant keep its loose change <laughs> i'm gonna think in his trunk. Hey! Oh, that's a good one, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, and the final one for today. Uh, in Oklahoma, where the sunshine comes down the plane, or however that song goes, uh, you can be arrested. You can be arrested for making ugly faces at a dog. Say it was provocation. Say the dog was making ugly faces at you first. So... Man, don't ever go to Oklahoma, Mark, because sometimes, you probably don't realise this, but, well, more than sometimes, a lot of the time, when you just generally speak, your face does do weird and wonderful things that some people could construe as ugly. And if there was a dog around in the room at the same time, you could find yourself in prison, my friend. That is true, but I'm going to say, not many dogs on cruise ships, so I think I'm okay. Okay, well, fair enough. Good choice. Uh, any more? They're good ones today. Uh, and that's more? it for me today. Uh, should we do some of the others? You some, of you, some of yours. Uh, yes. All right. We'll do two more. Two more. And we're going to bring Slim into this. All right. We're going to see okay. if he can give us a fact or fiction right now. All right. <clears throat> Slim. Fact or fiction. Women buy 80% of everything that is for sale. Women buy 80% of everything that is for sale. Is that a fact or is that fiction? Uh, I, <clears throat> I'm going to say, Slim says fact. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to agree because I, I, uh, I once knew a girl who was so obsessed with bargains she would buy anything that was marked down. In fact, she went ashore one day and came back with an elevator. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's reached new lows, literally. <laughs> You can't say uh, new lows on a oh, ship. Sorry, sorry. Um, uh, actually, fiction, Slim. Uh, women buy 82% of everything on sale. 82% of everything on sale. Uh, so there we go. I love that fact. That's a good one. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, all right. <clears throat> Harry Houdini could pick up pins with his eyelashes. 
Harry Houdini could pick up pins with his eyelashes. Fact or fiction? Can you do anything with your eyelashes, Slim? <laughs> Just blink. Just blink. <laughs> <laughs> blink. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Houdini could pick up pins with his eyelashes. Fact or fiction? It's the magic man, yeah, the he famous... wasn't so lucky, right? Yeah, he wasn't so lucky, yeah, you're right, yeah. Uh, fact. fact, he's gone with fact. He's out of his mind over there in the corner. Fact of... Get your foot off my... Sorry. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot myself for a minute. You're a bit comfortable all of a sudden, aren't you? You are. Um... <laughs> fact or fiction? Harry Houdini. Oh. What do you think today? Tell me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. It's got, that's got, that's got to be a, that's got to be nonsense. You can't pick anything out with your eyebrows. I can't even pick. I up didn't a say eyebrows. I I, didn't eyelashes. Say, of course, you can't pick anything with your eyebrows. That would be ridiculous. But you can pick up pins with your eyelashes because it's a fact, ladies and gentlemen. Harry Houdini can pick up pins with his eyelashes. Can I, can I just? Uh, I, 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 I think it's a pretty sad state of affairs that I feel the need to do this. But can I just say, please don't try that at home. <laughs> you know, we would normally say kids, but. Normally, it's the adults that give it a go. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to see a line of people down at the medical centre with pins in. They're like, oh, we were just trying to do what Mark and JC were talking about. Some guy with a knitting needle. Oh, I couldn't yeah. do the pins, so I went one bigger. Yeah, I thought it'd be easier the bigger it was. <laughs> All right, a couple of Dear JC letters for you to round off today's daily show. Uh, a bit disturbing, really, to be honest with you, Mark. We've only yeah. got a couple. Uh, you know what? It's really down to you, ladies and gentlemen, how much you get involved with us throughout the course of the cruise. But we want you to write to us we want you to tell us what you think about the daily show if you've got some funnies if you notice we're making mistakes or errors with our grammar our pronunciation uh, of course we wouldn't be because it's the queen's english we the you, queen's english you might my friend, this one but... from ed in stuart art villi mn uh monday he sent it in on monday stuart Vi stuart villi in MN, MN is that a st is that one of the st um, the counties? What do you call them? Not Maryland again, is it? It could be Maryland. What's MN? Slim MN stand for? Shorthand for man. Ma could be man. It could be shorthand for man. Who knows? Dear JC, as a retired Navy officer, I was wondering if you have any tours of the engine room, bridge, or any other of the supporting offices here on board. Mark. No. No, we don't. Uh, I'm sorry, we don't. Uh, we don't offer any tours. Um, you know what? Uh, some cruise lines uh, have started doing it again, I think, uh, after the obvious tragedies over the last uh, few years. But um, uh, no, not here on Celebrity at present. Um, I believe that the Solstice class ships may be doing something similar, uh, but uh, I know it's a paid tour. Yeah. It's not a, a free tour uh, per se. Uh, but it, no. Uh, it, and do you know what? Actually... It's also very much to do with uh, which captain you have on board as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, each captain has different sort of rules and regulations. After all, it's his ship. Really. Absolutely. Well, yeah. It's his ship. He do, do, you know, can do what he wants. Uh, but not on this particular br uh, 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 ship, sir. No, we do not, I'm afraid to say. Uh, next uh, one was from Chris and... Mm, Mc, is that Mike? Mike? Mike Allia? Uh, Mike Allia. Is, 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 is it not Mike from LA? No, Chris and... Ma Michaelia. Mm, sound it out. Sound it out. M my cha a la. My cha la. Yeah, my cha. Okay. Uh, Chris and my cha la uh, from San Francisco. Ka. Why do people always so, like put letters after like names? Is there something maybe I'm it's missing? Like, maybe it's like one of those things you get when you become a doctor. Ah, that's what it is. You get the letters like the um, no, you'll be like, like Mark M D. Like, yeah, Mark Weston M D. Yeah, uh, B and Q T T F N. Yeah, S E X Y. Yeah, you know, L O L. Uh, yeah, I see those ones. Dear J C and Mark, random illegal on, law. Do that again. Do that again. <laughs> I was trying to skate over that bit. Hang First on. one of the cruise, buddy. <coughs> Dear J C and Mark, you really didn't have to write that, Chris and Michaelia. Oh, yes, you did. Um, random illegal law. In Kentucky, you cannot put a skunk in someone's desk. <laughs> oh, can you imagine that? <laughs> well, what's the fun in that? Yeah. That's do it. I, you know, don't, don't, why, don't listen to convention. Let's do it. Let's all go put a skunk in somebody's desk today. Well, we've got to find some desks, first of all. 
Um, I don't know. Do you, have, do you own a desk? S- skunks could be an issue as well. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think of that, actually. Yeah. yeah. It's probably going to be a bit more difficult. Uh, we are celebrating our honeymoon. We got married over a year ago, but still needed to save for our honeymoon. We are very excited for this Baltic cruise. P.S. We cannot believe you remember, word for word, the Gummy Bears theme song. Well, exciting news, Chris and Mikey Lala. Uh, because... Uh, we've had our very uh, we've had our top tip tip top researcher, the number one researcher uh, in this production, the only one uh, on the case. Uh, we have the full song lyrics <laughs> for the Gummy Bears theme tune. Bad news is this: I, outside of Gummy Bears bouncing here and there, I can't remember the tune. Uh, but here are the full words, and I've mm. even got their names. We had Gruffy Gummy, Zummy Gummy. Yeah. Not a lot of imagination gone into these names. No. Know, if I, I remember it being better when I was a kid. Uh, Gruffy Gummy, uh, Zummy Gummy, Grammy Gummy, Tummy Gummy. <laughs> Did you see a pattern developing? Yeah. Yeah. Sunny Gummy, Cubby Gummy, and Augustus. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I kind of, they kind of, it was almost a perfect 100% was all, yeah. record, wasn't it? But they just kind of veered off at the end and thought, you know what, let's mix it up, see if they notice. We did. We did but notice. That, so, yeah, Graffy Gummy, Zummy Gummy, Grammy Gummy, Tummy Gummy, Sunny Gummy, Cabby Gummy, Augustus. Go. Gummy Bears. Hang on, I can't remember the tune. Gummy, gummy Bears by dashing and daring, courageous and caring, faithful and friendly with stories to share. All through the forest they sing out a chorus, marching along with their hands in the air. Gummy bears, bouncing here and there and everywhere. High adventure that's beyond compare. They are the gummy bears. Magic and mystery are part of the history, along with the secret of gummy berry juice. Their legend is growing, they take pride in knowing they'll fight for what's right in whatever they do. All together! Gummy bears, bouncing here and there and everywhere. High adventure that's beyond compare. They are the gummy bears. They are the gummy bears. That's it for today. Have a great day. Cheerio.